Hi everybody, this is my friend Penny. Can you say hi? Hi. Can you say welcome to Sandy's YouTube channel? Welcome to Sandy's YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Penny is going to teach me today how to do her two-handed painting techniques. Because she uses two hands. Her mom has been sending me pictures of her doing this. And she's really amazing. How long have you been painting? Um, April to May. April to May, and that's it. And she already knows how to paint with two hands. So let's get started. Okay, so you're going to teach me how to paint with two hands. Mm -hmm. Is that what we're going to learn today? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you do first? Because you need to get these four teams. Teams? Mm -hmm. You have to have teams? Yeah. How about a big one and a little one? Do a big one and a little one make a good team? Yeah. And little and little do make good teams too. Okay, well, I'm going to start with big and little. Is that okay? Yep. But or should I start with little and little? When they get tired, they rest. Okay. That's good to know. Because you have to start with two teams. Okay, so I have two teams. I have two, a little and a little and a big and a little. Yes. Is that okay? Yep. Okay. So I'll start with little and little like you are. What, do we, what do we do first? I'm starting with these. Oh, you're starting big and little. Okay. So I'll start big and little. Because these ones got a little tired last time. <laughs> I got tired. Okay. Because then they start. Then you take them both. Take them both. Put them both in the water at the same time. Yep. I like your cup that has the hole in it. That is a really cool invention. You should patent that. And then you just put one in the paint at a time. Whatever okay, so we get two to. different colors on both ones. And just do one color on both one. Oh, same color on both? Yeah. Okay. This one's some more. I was using the, the purple. Okay. And what are we going to paint? And whatever we want to. Whatever we want to? Yep. Okay, I'm going to try to paint a flower with two hands. more water and I think I need a darker color because nobody's gonna see my yellow flower on the camera yep so I'm gonna go with some orange and add orange to my flower yep because my purple's getting light there it is do you know why that's getting light mm. I bet it's because there's lots of water yep. I bet if you got more paint it would get darker there we go I hope people can see my flower now on camera because now that I'm getting the, the purple, having some orange red, it'll show up more. And put, then you just start spraying it out. This is hard. You're really good at this. Yeah. It's hard doing two hands at once. Yep. I can't think with both hands. Yep. When you do two colors you're good and then they get tired then they get tired okay they get really tired yep when the others because right now these ones are starting to wake up oh the other ones are waking up so we should switch brushes yeah so they're they're pretty tired they nope. wash themselves off okay we get them washed and then they need the paper towel to dry okay i got paper towels here there's some for you Some for me. Yeah. Nope. Then I they didn't draw my color off. Yeah. And then. And then. Okay, they rest. And then do we do a different color? Yep. Different one? Mm -hmm. But we wet them both, right? Yep. That's yeah. our technique. To wet them both. And what color should I use next? Glyph. Should I use purple like you did? Yep. I wonder if I can do little flowers since I have my little brushes. We're I'm painting the beautiful sky. It is a beautiful sky. It's like a sunset sky. Yep. 
So Penny, how long have you been painting with two hands? When did you invent this? Um, I think I started painting in April. I, I don't You've know. only been painting since April and you already invented a technique? Yeah. You're amazing! Mm -hmm. Wow! I've been painting a lot longer than that and I have never learned how to paint with two hands until now. Yeah. Because I'm painting with you today. I think this is going to be a fun background for a card. Yes. I do good backgrounds. So I can change colors while I'm using the little brushes? Are they tired yet or do I have to change? Uh, they're not tired yet. You they're... have to change colors. But I have to change colors. Okay. I'll change colors. Maybe I'll do some background like you are doing because you've got some pretty blue there. Yeah. So I'm going to get some blue. Because this is the blue I'm using. That's the blue you're using? Yeah, this is kind of like that. It's not as pretty as your blue, but so. okay, this is going to be harder than painting a flower. At least it is for me. Oh boy. I can't look at both things at the same time. <laughs> I don't know how you do this, Penny. You're amazing. Because I can see the whole paper. I know, but I have to look where I'm painting. I can't just do like you, because, wow. But I know where I'm painting. You do know where you're painting. I think I do better if both brushes are painting in the same spot. I was trying to paint in two different places, and that was confusing me. Mm, I, I paint with them in different spots. Yeah, look at you. Boy, I don't know how your brain does that. Because mine doesn't. Okay, do I need more blue on here or what should I switch to? Uh, I sent you them two colors, they're tired. Now they're tired? Okay, so now I switch brushes yep. to the other ones. Now I'll do big and small. Big and small. Yeah, we're back to big and small again. I think I'm going to make lots of cards out of this paper. Yeah, I think so too. If we cut that into quarters. You yeah. could make some seriously awesome cards. I think we can make four. Oh, do I have to turn my paper now? Like you did? Uh -huh. Yes. To make it full beautiful. Don't forget the stems for the flowers. Oh, yes. I was going to add them after it all dried. Because then the, the green won't get mushy with my other colors. Yeah, good idea. Let's see if I can do a really big one over here. Like a rose. That's dark blue. I know but we're gonna have a blue rose because we can, because it's a painting, right? Yeah. Because blue roses are really no such thing. My brushes are getting pretty tired. You're getting tired? So does that mean we need to switch now? Uh, when you... Okay, as soon as I finish this flower. But my flower made a mess over here. <laughs> That's weird. It went a little crazy. Because I didn't wait for my paint to dry. You're making little beautiful flowers. I'm so glad you're teaching me how to do this, Penny. <laughs> do you think other kids would be able to learn how to do your two-handed painting? If I teach them. If you teach them, do you think they would watch this video? I think. And learn how to do it? Mm -hmm. So I think that would be cool. Are you done? That looks beautiful. It does look beautiful. Here, let me hold it up for the camera to see. The camera's up there so everybody can see your beautiful painting. Isn't that gorgeous? Are you going to paint another one? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, we'll set this one aside to dry. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm Good. doing That's another stem. blue. Oh, you're doing a stem. Yep. Don't oh. forget leaves. Yeah, I have to add the leaves when it dries. Mm -hmm. Don't forget some grass. Oh, sure, not that yellow. Here's my knee. So where did your mom get your cool paints at? Uh, Walmart. At Walmart? Yep. Awesome. I got these at Dick Blick. Oh. 
because I bought a whole bunch of really expensive paints and then a whole bunch of really inexpensive ones to see what the difference is. And I think for a technique like this, any kind of paints work. Yep. Because it's just really loose and fun and bright. Mm -hmm. And especially when you're doing it with two hands because you can't really worry about using good paints and everything anyway. The scepter and, I, and I'm okay with the the yellow going into the purple. You're okay with it mixing? Oh, it looks gorgeous mixed together like that. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. Yeah, I don't wait for it to dry. I know. Sometimes I like to wait for it to dry and sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. It really depends on what kind of thing I'm painting. Any? Mm -hmm. I am so lucky to have a friend like you who can teach me painting. This is my purpley blue. It's right next to my white. Your purpley blue? Yep. That is a purpley blue. That's that same color I'm painting with. Look at that. Yeah. That's the same color. Yep. Ooh, that's weird. That is weird. Especially since you have so many more colors than I do. Mm -hmm. For us to pick the same one. And and it's a beautiful sky too. It is a beautiful sky. It's got yellow, yellowish color in it. It's kind of like a sunset. Yep. It's just a lonely flower and I'll put the sun in there too. I'll put it really low. Really low? Okay. Because that's what happens when the sun goes down, right? So Penny, do you watch a lot of YouTube? Uh, you watch a lot of tutorials on YouTube? Mm -hmm. I know your mom tells me you watch some with her. Yeah, your videos, of course. My videos? Yeah. You watch me? Oh my gosh. I'm honored. I hear there's other kids who watch me too. Mm -hmm. So I think other kids are going to get a kick out of this because they're going to see that they can paint too. Mm. And that's going to be awesome. Well, they are resting. These guys are ready. Oh, okay. Give him more a bigger leaf. Give this flower some bigger leaves. Yeah. Where those small leaves will be a special flower. But he is lonely though. He needs to see the other flowers. He needs to see my flowers? He needs to see lots of little flowers, but he doesn't notice that there's a little baby one right next to him. He didn't even see it. Nope, he can't see the little baby one right next to him. You know, I bet you when you're grown up like me, you're going to get such a kick out of watching this video. Mm. Do you think there will still be videos on the computer when you get bigger with me? Yep. And future Penny, click like on this video. Mm. And maybe you'll have to answer questions in the comments when the video goes up. Mm -hmm. so your mom can help you if people have questions on your painting technique. So she can help you type answers because I'm sure people will have questions just like I do. Just whack at it with scissors. You go, girl. Awesome. I'm not talented enough with a pair of scissors to just chop mine like that. So I'm pretty impressed. Those will be gorgeous cards. Are you going to write letters to troops in them, or are you going to send them to your grandma, or what are you going to do with yours? I don't know yet. Since they're pretty flat, they could go to Operation Right Home. They could. First, I might have to take them home to get them done. I think you might. You have to write your letter in them. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome, and sign them and everything. Because mm -hmm. they love getting stuff from people like you. Because you're amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. 
that. Let's hold it up here so everybody can see how beautiful your painting is. Isn't that pretty? Mm. You want me to set it aside over here to dry? Mm -hmm. You gonna paint another? I do really need something. You do very beautiful paintings. Mm -hmm. And I love that you know that you do beautiful paintings. Mm -hmm. I think that is awesome. Because I think we grown-ups tend to lose sight of the fact that we do beautiful things. We all get all kinds of worried about things we shouldn't worry about. Painting, painting people should probably watch this video. I think they should. Yep. Because they would learn a lot from you. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm going to put my favorite purple color in here. Can I do purple in my sky? Is that okay? Okay, brush is going different directions. Ah! <laughs> That's okay. I get confused when my brushes go different directions, but it's all right. I'm, I'm practicing. It was so easy. So easy? Yeah. Wow. I'm impressed that you find it really that easy. You're pretty talented. Ooh, and I can play it like a drum. Get some texture going. Purple floor for a house. Purple floor? Is that like purple carpet? Yeah. Better to do it with two hands. Oh, you're doing both brushes together like that? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I have to try that. That but looks really fun. If I do it like this, that means I'm doing four hands. Four two. hands? Can you do two brushes in each of two hands? Yeah. You can do four brushes at once? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think all I can handle is two. Mm. That's all I can do. So I'm going to try like you did. Well, I can but do... I think i got to hold them down here at the bottom so they're both together. But... But I... This is like totally chopsticks land that we're working in here. But since I got six brushes now, I could do. Yeah. I can you could do, do six at once? I can, yes, yeah, three. Oh each man. Hand. You're blowing my mind. Hmm. You are totally, totally blowing my brain. I'm just good at painting. <laughs> you are. And I love that. Yeah, this didn't work very good with my Copics earlier, but look at how that works when I'm doing it the two brushes technique. I'm getting two lines at once. Mm, that's good. That's, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty cool too. That was just a brush. Uh oh. That's okay. Got like something it. on you? <laughs> That's really my awesome are. painting apron. I like that. Right here on my bib. Uh huh. You know, I think this big purple swatch is actually looking more like a mountain than it's looking like sky. I might have to turn it into a purple mountain. Hmm. Oh, the ideas that come up when you're using two brushes together. <laughs> yep. All right, so Purple Mountain's Majesty is what we're going to do. You might need to wait for that to dry a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let me see if it starts bleeding. Oh, nope. <laughs> That's going to work. Kind of looks like a broccoli tree. <laughs> it does look like a broccoli tree. You're right. That does. Mm. Oh, let me get into my white for Maybe colors. when it dries, I'll put a brown stem on it, and then it won't look like broccoli anymore. But look, I can paint two trees at one time. Oh. Wow. That's cool. Because you're doing two hands. I think people are going to be amazed by this video. And I hope if they're amazed by this video that they click that like button. Yeah, they... People might like this video. I think they might. 
And I'm going to put links to all the paint stuff that we're using mm -hmm. in the doobly-doo. Do you know what the doobly-doo is? No. You probably don't because you don't read yet. But the doobly-doo is this description area on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And that's where people put stuff like links to... So if you want to go buy these fancy paints that we're using, we'll tell you what it was. Because a lot of people want to do exactly what we've done here. So they're going to go want to go and get your paint that your mom got you at Walmart. Yep. And then maybe my paints that I got at Dick Blick. And I'll also link them to my other favorite paints because I have a couple favorite paints. This is my first video with these. It's done. I think so. A little more purple in my God Rays. Because I like God Rays. I like when it looks like God is shining down from the sky and giving us extra rays of light to the earth. Yeah. The paint brushes are saying rain. Right, 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 right. They're talking? <laughs> Chatty brushes. Get these socks. Get them. Get them. Do you think my broccoli tree is ready for a stem now? Yeah. So he can be a tree and not a broccoli. Piece of broccoli. Maybe I can finally use that brown that I found. This one will be a little too large for a card. But you know what? As a thank you for you teaching me how to paint like this, I'm going to give you this painting. How about that? Because you're always giving me paintings. So I want to give you my painting. I can't wait to see what you do when you've been painting longer than this, if you've only been painting since April. Well, I have been painting sometimes in May. And sometimes in May, yeah. But when it's September or October, I can't wait to see what you paint then because you're going to be like even better. Yeah, I'm really good at it. Because the more you do, the more practice you get, the better you get. Hmm. All around your sun. Beautiful. All done? Yeah. Here is Penny's lovely finished painting. Isn't that gorgeous? Nope. Look at all that color. Thank you very much for teaching me how to paint. This was great. Well, this has been really fun painting with you, Penny. What would you like to tell other kids about painting? Um, that they don't know how to. That they don't know how to? And how would they learn how to paint? Uh, with me teaching them. <sighs> with you teaching them exactly. They could watch this video over and over until they learn how to paint. Yeah. That would be kind of cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, let's say bye to everybody and maybe they'll see you on another video sometime, okay? Bye. Bye, everybody. Isn't Penny just the sweetest little thing? I just absolutely love this little lady. She is so uninhibited in her art. These are cards that she made from her painting pieces, and this is what she put on the inside of one of them. And the picture is supposed to be the two of us doing our painting together at the table. Very sweet. I took my cards and used them for backgrounds, used a little bit of vellum and some lawn fawn die cut sentiments. And you can do all different kinds of things with painting backgrounds. And I'm going to have links in the description to the products that were used here, as well as uh, links over on the blog post. So check that out. And I will see you guys another time. These are two more watercolor videos that I've made doing some watercolor flowers. And I thought you might enjoy seeing those. Thanks much. Have a really great day. Bye-bye.